Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel, Tara Pross, True Beauty Reviewer. And today I am going to do a makeup look um, using mostly drugstore brand, actually mostly Wet n Wild. Um, so obviously we're all quarantined, we're not going anywhere, but um, I love makeup and I think that it's making my soul feel better. So if it's going to make your soul feel better, then I would like to share it with you. And listen, we're all gonna be broke when we come out of this. Um, so we're probably not gonna be running to buy the $80 foundation and things like that. Um, and I really feel like this summer trend is really gonna be like the no makeup makeup look. Um, so I like to master that in as little, <laughs> little makeup as possible. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to do that look for you today. I already have lashes on. They're Torella Beauty Bar lashes, um, night out. Um, I've had them on, so I didn't want to bore you with taking them off and putting them back on again. These, um, don't have any actually mascara on them. My, um, my own lashes do and I'm a great lash uh, mascara freak so that's what I use to mascara and do um, my lashes so we all know that basically I start every routine of the day out with quick tan and let me tell you something I, I'm gonna get on a rant right now I know that like I, I can't feel any more pale like I, I'm like dying so the quick tan definitely is something that I would recommend. Full body, um, I have a video, like my first video ever, I think that I even put on YouTube was about quick tan. Uh, how many years later, I'm still using it, I still stand by it. I think it's fabulous. Get yourself a can of it and a loofah and make, you know, give yourself a little tan. It makes you feel a hundred times better. Like, I just fit, is that weird? Okay, um, it makes you feel like a hundred times better just to have like that little bit of glow and I religiously use it and then like oil over top of it so it doesn't get like crazy. Um, so yeah, quick tan, um, body dry. You probably can't get it on Amazon right now. You get it again, I think on Amazon. Um, maybe not toilet paper, whole nother ball game. Um, so I'm gonna start out with um, the Wet n Wild um, Primer Serum. So um, from watching other videos, I have um, found out that Wet n Wild redid their formula and it's supposed to be really great. The great thing about Wet n Wild to me is its price point. I mean, you know, if you wanna get this look, it's you know not gonna cost you a fortune. It's local, you can get it at CVS, you can get it also, you can get it right, you can get it, you know, and it's pretty easy. Um, so I heard, um, I think it was a Tati video where she said that the formula really had like a smell to it, which just cut me and put me over the edge because I cannot deal with like weird smells, especially on my face, like no thank you. Oh my God, dude, don't laugh at my nails. I think it's my daughter's nail polish. I, I, I lost my nails, I lost everything. Okay, thank you. While everybody was running out getting TP, I was getting creams and masks <laughs> just, to, just to keep, I gotta keep it preserved. Um, okay, so anyway, let's do this first. You're gonna notice that uh, the majority of the time I use my hands for everything, I like the way that um, it feels on my face, so I get kind of a, um, uh, a feel for it. I'm gonna tell you right now that I'm not, I don't always use primers. Um, some primers are very drying and some primers are not. Um, and if you already suffer from dry skin, the last thing that you wanna do is clog your pores and um, get a primer that does that. So I, I tend to not um, do that. I, I like a little bit more of a do it your look anyway. I, I use a ton of oils on my face, so. But anyway, I was gonna try this anyway. So that was the serum. Um, when choosing foundations, I chose two colors. I know this isn't my color, this one isn't. Um, but I'm going to use this a little bit as a contour. 
Um, so I usually get it, you know, it's just a quick thing, like, especially because obviously winter, summer, like your skin always is changing. So don't tell me that your foundation is the same color all the way through because it's not and you're lying. Like I have to mix all the time in order to stay, you know, and the older we get pigment, not that I'm getting old because I'm not, um, just saying. So I like the end of this, um, because then I don't have to use a brush like right away so basically I'm gonna start off like just here because yes I do have a double chin and I can't get rid of it not even quarantine although I would like to say that this segment is brought to you by gold bond ultimate neck firming cream that I'm trying it's not really I'm not really affiliate I'm just saying that I'm trying it because I'll try anything right now to tighten up my neck. The more weight I lose, the looser the skirts. It drives me insane. So that was Gold Bond. Neck, chest, firming cream. I'll let you know if it works. Um, okay, back to this. <laughs> I'm going to, sorry, do a little here, a little here, a little here, a little here. I know it kind of looks crazy. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and take some type of brush that I have here <laughs> and just really blend it out. Like for me, this contour, like I want it to just hit the edge of my cheekbone and here this just get rid of it clearly you don't want to over contour if you're doing like a day event or like a you know like i say a no makeup makeup look um you know so don't use too much material that's kind of going to be my guide to where i'm heading I know it looks crazy, but it gets better. <laughs> Life always gets better, better get better. Okay. So now that I've started with that, I'm then gonna go in, um, I'm looking such a mess today, I don't know what my problem is. I got makeup on my shirt. <sighs> I'm gonna go in with the foundation. Um, this color, oh, I don't even know what color it is. Let's see if it says it. Classic beige. Classic beige, and my contour color was mocha. Um, I'm going to just take this, and I'm going to do this. <laughs> and then I'm going to do this. <laughs> and I'm going to go all over. I'm gonna leave a little, like I'm gonna try to leave a little bit of that contour showing, but I don't want it to be dramatic where people are like, oh my God, you have a line and it's everywhere. Um, so, as long as I get some depth from it, that's all I'm looking for. I'm gonna do my lids. That neck, you don't want that neck to stick out. People will be like, oh God, she's trying to hide it. My hand. So I have to say like there's not that much of a smell like a little bit um, when you're first um, smelling it but it really it really isn't too bad um, and I I like the coverage I do it, it feels um, kind of nice and smooth like it has a little bit of oil in it or something I don't know um, but it does definitely feel good. Um, I'm going to go ahead in with their concealer, um, concealer corrector. <laughs> this is their photo focus. I've used this one other time. I don't know that I'm in love with it, 
but um, I definitely feel like it would serve like if you needed a quick concealer and you you know it for this look that it would be not, not too bad but I also feel like um, you'll definitely have to powder underneath for it to really be perfect so I'm just gonna go ahead in and conceal where I want to um, and again I'm not doing like this whole like crazy smoky eye um, look I'm just kind of going with the you know like an every day type I gotta get out of the house and um, you know quick so I'm going to put that concealer I know I always open my mouth. It's so weird. It's cool. Okay, and while we're um, waiting for that um, to dry a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of powder. I know I've, I've been using this one. Look how damaged it is. Photo Focus Translucent Powder. Um, this is actually a really good product. I've used it in the past. And I have to honestly say to you, like recently, their foundations I've never used before. So, um, but this Photo Focus Powder in a pinch, I've definitely, um, you know, used it before my kit and things like that. And you know, some people say to me, um, you know, do your clients get like mad that you use products that aren't like, like expensive and listen bottom line is is that i'm here to do a job and i need things to last and sometimes the most expensive things in the world don't last and sometimes the cheapest things don't hold up at all so if it's something that i've purchased it's something that i've used and it's something that i believe in and it doesn't matter what the price is because the end result is what matters that horse that i got on real quick <laughs> um okay I'm just gonna go ahead and just powder a little bit here and just let that really set for a second. Today for my brows, um, I used, um, actually from ColourPop, this brow gel, super great. Um, this is a dark, obviously black, because my hair is black, but sometimes I can actually get away with um, using like an espresso too. I haven't waxed, I haven't done anything, just long drop. <laughs> okay, so why I'm waiting for this to set a little bit before I go in with um, like my bronzer and my cheek, I'm gonna go in um, with uh, a lip. I didn't find a wet and wild lip, um, I just used a lip kit from uh, Trella Beauty Bar. Um, this color is called uh, Bombshell, and the liner it comes with is called Babe. Super fun color um, to kind of use. Let me just line. Oh my god, this color makes me want summer so bad. Uh, this is a really um, popular color for bridal. I always get people that are like, I'll take the bombshell. Take the bombshell. Sometimes I'm going to tell you this. like, I will do my lipstick before I do my blush. Because sometimes I need my lips to inspire what I want my cheeks to actually look like. <laughs> um, okay. This is a matte color. And it glides on really, really smooth before it gets all weird and dried. <laughs> they all are. Um, this one definitely lasts a long amount of time. Okay, so I'm going to use uh, L'Oreal True Match Bronze It. 
Um, I didn't find a bronzer from Wet n Wild that I loved, so but I did find a cute little peachy highlighter that um, I did. So I'm gonna show you that. So I'm just gonna go in here and kind of. And again, I am trying to achieve like not so much makeup, just, you know, that's why I'm not putting on eyeliner. I'm not like, you know, going crazy with things. I'm just trying to do like a very light finish here. Um, so this is called Hello, Hello Halo. Um, this is from Wet n Wild. Oh my God, it's called After, After Sex Glow. Okay, <laughs> you said it. Um, but super cute colors in it. Um, like this peachy and this gold, which honestly, like I'm going to um, use this gold color as a little bit of a highlight. Um, right here. I'm gonna take a little bit of this like peachy color here and just kind of just swoop it over. That's it for that. I'm gonna go in and, sorry, hit, hit right in the middle here where I'm getting both colors. And I'm just gonna press And if you feel like you want to be a little bit more highlighted, I'll just back up a little. Um, I take this fan brush and just do like a little bit of like down here, a little bit here, a little bit here. Um, yeah. So I'm not going with like heavy blush because I don't want my face to look too made up. So this is called um, Liquid Cat Suit. And where do they go with it? It has like just a little, um, ro I think it's satin sheets. So after your sex glow in your satin sheets, you might want to use this. Um, I'm just going to put like a little bit to like highlight the lip a little bit. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, perfect. There you have it. So that is today's look. Um, just simple. Um, I like the little highlight. I like the coverage on the um, foundation. I think um, that it's definitely um, a good product for you to try, for sure, especially if you don't um, want to spend a lot of money on your foundation and stuff like that. So. Uh, go give it a try. That's Wet n Wild. I love this. This um, L'Oreal Loom Bronzer. I've had this forever. Luminae Bronzer. Bronze it. Um, and you can actually use this on your body too. Like I've used it on my shins and my collarbone. Super, super, super good product. Um, okay, so that's my look. Thanks for tuning in. I hope I made you smile or maybe made you want to go and do this look for yourself. Um, so stay tuned for more videos. Um, like and subscribe. Share with your friends um, through text message, not in front of each other because that's we're not allowed to do that yet. Um, but yeah, and I hope that you have a fabulous day. Thank you.